Hey guys, welcome back to All in and Law. This is a medical video lecture, Pediatrics. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the symptoms of different types of ventricular septal defect, VSD. So you know there are variety of classifications of VSD like inlet VSDs, outlet VSD, muscular and perimembranous VSD. But for our symptoms, we can classify as small, medium sized, large and large VSD with Esmenger syndrome, right? So let's talk about this. What happens when there is a small VSD? What are the symptoms usually the patient will have? Excellent guys, remember the VSD is the most common congenital heart disease in children. So if the patient has a small VSD, generally the patient will be asymptomatic. Okay. So how do you detect is usually on a physical routine physical examination you hear a murmur and that gives rise to a diagnosis of small VSD and you can take further echo and everything right and the risk however there is a risk of what you call the infective endocarditis but it's really very rare okay if the patient has a medium sized VSD the medium sized VSD symptoms are mild initially but it can give rise to CCF later okay and there is increased precardial activity excessive coughing during the feeds and excessive perspiration and inability to feed properly due to the fatigue remember okay so these are the things that you should remember the medium sized VSD patient will present to you either initially they will have mild symptoms and later it can lead to CCF the symptoms are precordial increased precordial activity the excessive coughing okay coughing uh, during the feeds okay excessive perspiration and inability to feed properly during fatigue right so baby gets fatigue often if the patient has a large VSD okay large VSD means they will have the silent symptoms of medium sized VSD okay and in addition to that they will have failure to thrive failure to thrive repeated respiratory tract infection repeated respiratory tract infection excessive breathlessness and another one cycle suck rest cycle suck rest cycle suck rest suck cycle what happens the child sucks and stops to take the rest and stops to take the rest due to breathlessness and fatigue and falls asleep and wakes up early due to hunger and sucks again so this is what you see in a large VSD so for a large VSD you should expect the symptoms as the failure to thrive repeated respiratory tract infection excessive breathlessness and suck rest suck cycle right so now what happens is the patient has a large VSD with Eisenmenger syndrome in Eisenmenger syndrome due to the reversal of the shunt there is a reduction in the pulmonary what you call plethora and cardiomegaly thus symptoms of what you call the CCF congestive cardiac failure and repeated respiratory tract infections abate okay instead of the following symptoms Instead, the following symptoms can occur, right? Cyanosis, very important. It can be a cyanosis. They can be dizziness. There can be a syncope, hemoptysis, arrhythmias, and sudden death also. So try to memorize these symptoms as the in initially, if there's a small VSD, they are asymptomatic. If medium, large, as they grow, go CVRT, then they will have more and more symptoms and more severe. Okay, guys? So thank you so much for watching this video on symptoms of different types of VSD. Take care.